Welcome back to my channel. I'm James and my channel's all about great movies and great TV series from all over the world. And today we're going to do something fun and entertaining. I know I've had a lot of these exclusive and early reviews that I've had coming out the last several weeks. So this time I thought we'd do something a little different and a little bit more just for entertainment's sake. So today we're going to be doing my top 15 rarest and most expensive Blu-rays and 4K Ultra HDs that are in my collection. Now, I'll tell you right off the bat, I had a really hard time with this, simply because there were so many different titles to go through. And so I kind of picked some from different categories. Instead of just doing all steel books, for example, or all just a certain Blu-ray, I went through and tried to pick some from different categories. So I do have a bunch in each category of each amount. It's just I tried to vary them so that way this video had a lot of different things to kind of show off different categories of things from all over the world. So we're going to start off here with the lowest, kind of starting off at a lower amount price point, working our way up. And in case a lot of you are wondering how I came up with these amounts, I simply based it on what I could find that was for sale or what had sold on either Amazon or eBay in the amounts they'd sold for. Now, some of these were not available because they've been out of print for a long time. So I had to go back quite a ways to even find the last time one of these had sold. And those are the kind of prices that I use then to give you these kind of ideas of what they sell for. So bear in mind when you see these prices that I'm talking around, these are around prices. Obviously, you can get these for maybe a little bit less or a lot more depending on if they're being sold by somebody and what seller selling them. But for right now, this kind of gives you a rough idea of what some of these are worth and valued at. Now, I hope this inspires a lot of you to go through your collection and kind of find out what special things you've got in yours. It really is kind of a fun thing to do. And that's why I was excited to go through this with all of you today. So let me know in the comment section below after you get done watching this video, some of your like hidden gems or things that are worth a lot in your collection, post them down below because just like in mine, there was tons that I couldn't go through. I had to pick just basically 15 to go through here to keep the video not too long. So make sure to comment down in the comment section below after you watch this and let me know what are some of yours that you have in this collection. Do you have some of these that I'm going through or are there some other ones that you really have that are valuable? I always love to hear from all of you. All right, so we're starting off with Ronin and this is the special edition release of Ronin by Arrow Video and this was very limited. They only printed this for a limited amount of time and then discontinued it. This one goes regularly for around 100 110, sometimes you could rarely see it for around 80 bucks, but most of the sellers that I saw when I looked them up, both on Amazon, eBay, things like that, they were all going for around 100 bucks on average. If you get lucky and you can get this for around 50 or 60, it's a steal of a deal. But mine I originally got when it was released and it didn't cost me anywhere near that amount. But now it's going for, like I said, around that $100 price range, which really surprises me. But a lot of the times I've talked about this on the channel a lot, Aero video special edition, limited edition releases, they really do hold their price and go up in value after that. So I really feel like you never really lose out on buying any of these Aero special editions or limited editions. And this one is a great movie. Um, if you haven't seen Ronin, it's a great action adventure, kind of like espionage mystery thriller. It's got Robert De Niro and Gene Reno, who I absolutely love. He's obviously from Leon the Professional, which is one of my hidden gems that I absolutely love. That's a great movie. But anyhow, this is one of those hidden movies that a lot of people just had never seen. And this new restoration was really gorgeous. I'm just really sad they didn't release it longer so more people could buy it. But I will put in the description section right below this video as well as I'm going through all of these, I'll put the links for each one of these. So if you don't have it and you want to look at getting it, just keep an eye on those links below. That's how I find some of these that I'll go through and tell you about as we're going through this, that sometimes I do find a good deal. Someone will post a low price for one they're selling and then I pick it up right away. So I'll post all the links for everything we're talking about in the description section right below this video as well. That way you can go down there and have a comprehensive list of all of these that I'm going through. So if any of these you don't have yet and you want to get them, they'll all be listed down there so you can kind of keep an eye on them. And I'll tell you some secrets as we're going through this video on ways to get a hold of these at lower prices, even if they are out of print or haven't been available for a long time. But this one is really nice. It does come with a slip cover, obviously, for their special edition, as you can see here. And it did have inside it a really nice art book, which had a ton of different things it was talking about, about the film, pictures, and it had exclusive artwork on it. And it was a really cool set with reversible artwork on the outside of the case too. So it's definitely one of those hidden things that I love having in my collection and I'm really glad that I own it. Let me know if you've seen this movie. All right, next up, I cheated a little bit. This one's gonna be about three different titles. So 
We have Disturbing Behavior, Leviathan on Blu-ray, and Millennium Rotor Double Feature Collection. These were all released by Scream Factory and Shout Factory, and they were printed for a very limited time. And I didn't know that when I originally bought these. I always buy like Scream Factory and Shout Factory's releases, and I've always bought them. And these are films that I really did enjoy and liked. But I didn't know they were such limited prints until I started going through and looking up for this video some of these things. Well, these have been out of print for quite a while now. And to give you an example, these three go for around 100 to 150. Every single listing, every single time I saw these sold, they were 100 to 150 every time. Now, my disturbing behavior is brand new. I haven't opened it yet. But I did since then open Leviathan and Millennium and Rotor to watch them again recently. I've seen Disturbing Behavior several times, but that was back on DVD. So I haven't seen this one yet, but it is still sealed. But these ones I did open. I love the films. I think they're great. On Blu-ray, Shout Factory and Scream Factory did a great job on these. And they're hidden gems that really I wish they wouldn't have gone out of print. But they're out of print now. So if you own these in your collection, to give you an example, the lowest I could find was one of these had sold for about $100 in the last year. Otherwise, they go for 150 bucks regularly and there's not that many available. So these are something that even though it counts as one, these are all around that $150 price range. So thought that was kind of an exciting thing to see that, but that's where an example of the Shout Factory and Scream Factory. When I talk about picking up like these or any of these other limited edition sets like from Arrow Video, it's because an example like this, they really do hold their value and they really do become big collectibles. And that's something I'm gonna touch on real quick with all of you. A lot of you ask me why I collect physical media over digital. Prime reason is all of this video, everything I'm going through. I have hundreds of titles that are worth over $100 or more. If anything ever happened and I needed to pay bills or pay for my food for my family or my house, I could always sell my collection. And to be honest with you, I'd be able to make quadruple what I could ever make on digital because you can't sell your digital. So once you have those digital, they're worth nothing. Literally those companies, just like what happened with Apple getting sued and Warner Brothers and all of the voodoo and all of that stuff with those digital services that shut down and ultraviolet where people lost their whole collections because you don't actually own anything with digital. Whereas when you physically own these copies, you ever need to sell them. You have an investment of something to save in your collection. So again, that's where I wanted to say, I hope this video helps to inspire all of you. Start collecting, start getting, even if it's small, you don't have to have a huge collection like me, Start picking up some of these Shout or Arrow reviews that I've done recently. There's a ton of limited edition reviews I've done recently that are just coming out in the next couple of weeks that those will only increase in value as well. I mean, I did Legend and Children of the Corn, the Star Trek set. I mean, I go on and on. But anyhow, that is why it's because in my opinion, I'm putting my money into something that I know I'll always be able to get my money back out plus double or triple later on if I wanted to sell them. Now, I'm going to state this right now. I'm not selling my collection. Um, I don't need to, I collect all of these and I want to collect them. So it'd be a last resort. But like all of you know that have families like me, I've got three kids and a wife. Um, it is one of those things if it ever came down to it, I'd willingly sell anything to provide for my family. So that is the nice thing of having physical over digital every single time is that you physically own these and could sell them if you needed to. All right, next up, we've got Ghost in the Shell. Now this one was a very limited, if you can see, it's got like a 3D, like different metallic print on the steel book. And this is where I said, as far as these go, I have tons of steel books that are out of print that are worth a lot of money. I didn't want to go through all steel books because that kind of makes the video not as exciting. So I just picked one that I thought had one of the coolest covers on it and was really rare. This one goes regularly for $190 to $200, uh, but the average that it sold for in the last year was about 190 bucks. And this was a very limited and rare print that they gave on the steel book. And it went out of print very fast. It was released by Paramount Studios. Um, and it, on the back here, it does have the J card still on it. I've never taken it off, um, but you can kind of see there's artwork below behind it, but I try not to damage my J cards because I do try to keep these as collectible items. But it did come with a 4K Ultra HD in it. So it had your 4K Ultra HD and your Blu-ray of the copy of the movie with all the special features in it as well with your digital copy code. And then inside it did have some pretty cool artwork as well. It says Steelbook and then it had special artwork from Ghost in the Shell on the inside as well. And this one was pretty rare and pretty limited. Um, I guess they didn't print very many of these and it was released for just such a short time that basically everybody that I've ever talked to about this that comes in and sees my collection, they're always like, holy cow, that's worth hundreds of dollars. Well, I looked it up. It's worth about 190 bucks is what they actually sell for. So that's still a great deal, but I'm not selling mine, but I do love the artwork on this. I mean, heck, if you can see it, just the red and the metallic print on this and the artwork on it is just really outstanding on this steelbook. 
Next up, we've got Dawn of the Dead Limited Edition Collector Set. 4K Ultra HD with the Blu-ray copies. This comes in a massive set. And I know I've talked about this on the channel before, and you've probably seen me talk about this before, and I really liked this set. When I originally bought it, I think I paid about 80 bucks for it. Right now, it goes regularly for about 200 bucks, and over time, it will only go up higher than that as people basically sell out of them and things like that. So basically, it was a good investment, though to be honest with you, I loved this set. Um, it really is a massive set. And if you guys and gals wanna see reviews on any of this stuff, make sure to comment below what of these you wanna see a review on. And if I get enough comments, I'll make a little voting tab again like I did before and see how many votes we get for some of these that are most requested. And then I can do some reviews on these to kind of give you an idea of what's in these box sets. But this one was massive. It had a book, a novelization, tons of discs and CDs and Blu-rays restorations it had three different cuts of the film and i really loved this i'm a huge zombie fan and i love george romero zombie films and this collector set was amazing one of my favorite releases and this was from second sight films and i've recently been in touch with second sight films and i might have coming up the early release of the limited edition the guest 4k ultra hd set that they have coming out um, that's something that they might be sending to me early to review on the channel as well way before release date um, they did talk to me about that recently, so that might be coming up as well. So make sure if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. As always, I have tons of exclusive and early reviews of things that companies send to me weeks in advance before release date. So that way you know if it's something you're going to want to get, pre-order or things like that, because a lot of these limited edition sets really do sell out before release date. So that's the nice thing of having a review out plenty of time in advance is that that way you know if it's something you want to pre-order so you don't miss out on it. So make sure if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button below the channel and the bell notification so you get notified every time I release one of these videos. Now, there is a set that just has the discs and doesn't have all the extra books, the big case, the novelization, all of that included in it. And I'll link that below in the description section below. That's just simply actually the movie with the different cuts of the films on 4K. Um, so you're basically getting the movies on disc. So if you want that instead of all the extra books and the box and everything, that is available and I'll put that in the link down below and it's way less expensive. So anyhow, getting to the next one here. Next up, we have Quiz Show. This is a Robert Redford film and this was released very limited on Blu-ray. It was actually released in Australia originally. And this is a Disney release on Blu-ray. Full remastered 1080p picture. It has a production featurette on it and I absolutely love this movie. Um, it's one of Robert Redford's best movies and it's never been released anywhere else in the world on Blu-ray. This was the only release and it actually won Academy Awards and everything and I'm surprised it's never been done by Disney again. But they released it for a very limited time on Blu-ray. Right now this goes for 220 bucks. That was the cheapest in the last several years this has even sold for and I had a hard time even finding that because it's not available anywhere. Nobody's selling their copies. Nobody's doing anything, so I had to go a long time back to find it. So, to give you an example, this is one of those very rare out-of-print movies that I love having in my collection. My wife and I have watched it several times already, and it looks great in 1080p on Blu-ray. Disney did a great job with this. I just wish it was available more worldwide, so that way I could have done a big review on it and let everybody know so they could all buy this. But it's a great film. Next up, we have House the Collection. Now. This is the original limited edition Arrow Video House Collection Blu-ray set. This was out of print a long time ago. And I'll tell you right off the bat, I did not get this originally. I ended up having to pay reseller prices much later on. Now, what I bought it for is nothing what it's going for now. But just a few months ago, I was able to secure a copy for a great deal simply by going back through those links. So that's what I was gonna share with all of you. If you're looking to pick up any of these that are out of print or any of these special releases, what you need to do, and this is the only way I've ever been able to secure any of these, a little bit of hidden tidbit here is, I go to those links, so that Amazon link below, I constantly go to that link and constantly check it. I won't say I check it weekly, but usually about every two weeks or so, I go through my list of links that I'm looking for things, and I constantly check them. And I do that kind of a habitual thing. Every couple of weeks, I go through and I check. And that's where I finally found somebody that was selling it for a low price, brand new sealed. As you can see, it's sealed. I have not opened mine yet. Um, I got it brand new sealed in mint condition and they just happened to post it for 80, 85 bucks I think it was with shipping, which was a steal of a deal for this set because this regularly goes for 240 bucks. I had a hard time finding this for less than 240 bucks. I was shocked when I got mine. Super excited, I thanked the seller so much 
They just said that they were selling their collection because they didn't need it anymore. And that's the example of where I said, just because everybody else is selling it for 240 bucks, sometimes you can find somebody that basically is selling their collection for a little bit less. They just want to get rid of it fast. Um, but that's pretty rare. So I was pretty excited about this. It does have the book in it, which the book's really cool. And all four house films, which are varying in quality. But if you want to see a review of this on the channel, let me know as well. Haven't opened it yet, but I was excited for this one. And this is one of those, I don't know if you want to call it holy grail items. I don't really like that term, but really sought after items for me. I had been looking for this for years. I mean, since this was released years ago, I had tried to get it because I missed out on it and I couldn't find anybody for less than 240 bucks. Finally, several months ago, I was able to get it for about 85 bucks. So 240 bucks is what this regularly sells for though on Amazon and eBay. So just to let you know, that's how you can find it though, is constantly check that link. And that way you can kind of see, hey, finally somebody posted it for a little less. That's kind of a hidden way to get things. Next up, we've got Wing Commander. You've probably been looking for this because it's been posted all over the place. This was printed for a very limited time by Anchor Bay. And basically, I didn't know this when I originally got it. I think I got it out of like the Walmart sale bin one time for like five bucks many years ago. I actually think I got this almost maybe 10 or 15 years ago. Anyhow, right now, Wing Commander goes for about 250 bucks. And that's shocking, but that's what's actually been selling for. So just to let you know, if you have a copy of this, it's extremely rare and extremely sought after. And it's a pretty cool movie. I won't say it's amazing. It's kind of one of those B sci-fi movies. Um, got some cheesy dialogue, some cheesy acting, some cheesy special effects, but overall I've always kind of liked it. So that's why I was kind of glad I had it in my collection, but it did kind of surprise me when I looked this up and saw how much it was going for now and what people were actually selling it for. Next up, we've got the Resident Evil Limited Edition Collection. I just recently talked about this on my previous upcoming and new releases announcement video. And on that one, I talked about that there's a new Underworld collection coming out in the same type of box set. I have mine pre-ordered already. I did that a long time ago because I knew what Sony was doing with this. Sony has been doing a lot of these very, very, very limited edition collector sets. Resident Evil, when it came out, I didn't realize how limited it was. They printed it for a very limited time around the holidays and then just discontinued it without letting anybody know and has never reprinted or released this set again. So this set was very rare and I was pretty excited that I have it, but the price of it has gone way up. So right now these sell regularly for about a 260 bill. That's huge. 260 US dollars is a ton of money for this set. When I think I bought this originally for 60 bucks. So that's what I tell people if you're wanting to pick up that Underworld collection. I'll put that link down in the description section below as well. That's the next set that Sony's releasing in this limited edition box set. So this one came with all the movies. That's the same way that Underworld set is. And it's going to be the same type of box set. And it is very, very limited collector set. Sony's already said it's going to be printed the same way this set was. So if you're wanting to pick up that set, so that way you have that collector set, I'll put that link below this Resident Evil set as well. That way, if you're wanting to pick that one up, it's going for like 64 bucks, I think is what I saw it right now. So that's what they did with this Resident Evil. They had the price around 64 bucks, and I thought, hey, 64 bucks seems like a good deal for that many movies. Didn't know it was going to go up as high as it has. And this is only going to increase in value just like that Underworld ones. Next up, we've got I Love Trouble. It's got Julia Roberts and Nick Nolte, and I really enjoy the movie. It's a really good, funny comedy. This is another Disney title that was released very limited in Australia. This has not been reprinted or released anywhere else in the world ever since. It was printed so limited, I have not opened mine yet. Now, I had this on DVD and I liked the film, but I've had a hard time opening this one yet um, simply because of how much I know it's worth. This one regularly goes for $300 when you can find it. And that's amazing to me. 300 bucks for this. I bought this when it originally came out. I think I paid 10 US dollars for it. So that shows you that's crazy. Right now this sells for 300 bucks. Last time I could find a seller that sold it, sold it for 300 bucks. And it's very rare and out of print. I mean, you really can't find it at all. I couldn't find any active sellers that were even selling the Blu-ray copy at all anymore. But anyhow, what was unique about this film was it did have a brand new restoration on this. So it was a weird thing because Disney did a brand new restoration, not just a remaster, a restoration. It even says it right on the back with a brand new digital restoration. Um, and so that made this a really cool release that I'm surprised Disney never released again because I'm sure it looks great in 1080p with this brand new digital restoration. I just haven't opened mine yet. And now that I'm talking about it, I'm really wanting to open it and watch it because that digital restoration is pretty enticing. Um, but anyhow, this was a Disney release. Um, it's not available anymore and it is out of print. 
I have something I'm going to cover real quick with all of you. Make sure you stick around. We've got a ton more exciting titles to go into. If you enjoy my content and you enjoy this video, please consider giving this video a super thanks. There's a symbol right below this video and when you click on that, that helps you to give a super thanks to the channel. All of that goes right back into the channel and that helps me to keep providing you all of this content with all this time I put in, special effects, music, and all of the work that goes into providing you all of this exclusive content on my YouTube channel. So I ask that if you enjoy these videos and my content, please consider giving this video a super thanks. Another way you can help to support this channel is if you're going to pick up any of these titles and any of these reviews I do, any of these videos I do, always go to the description section right below each video, click through that description section and pick it up through there. That money goes right back into the channel and helps to support this channel as well at no cost to you. So those prices down there that Amazon sells those for on those links is always the same price you get it from anywhere else. And all of that helps to support this channel. So there's two ways you can help support this channel by giving a super thanks or by clicking through those links in the description section right below each video. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and a like for me. Click that subscribe button and the bell notification. That way you're notified right when I release these videos. Just like when I release any of this early or any of this exclusive content that you're only gonna find here on my YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe. All right, let's dive right back into this. Next up is Crying Freeman. This is one that I really wanted to do a review on the YouTube channel for quite a while about. But it's kind of one of those ones that I know it's extremely, extremely rare and extremely hard to come by. So I haven't done it yet, but make sure if you want to see reviews on any of this stuff, make sure to comment in the comment section below this video and let me know. But Crying Freeman was an old martial arts, basically kind of like a mixture of John Woo style shootout. It's based on the old Magna comic book series, Crying Freeman, and it had Mark DeCascos in it. And it was kind of a really cool ninja movie that had a lot of like 90s slow motion, kind of John Woo cinematography in it. And I feel it's really grown in cult status. Well, here's what's unique about this 4K. This was a brand new 4K restoration and remaster with the first time the film was ever released uncut in a limited edition 4K Ultra HD release. It has HDR, everything in it. And I will tell you right off the bat, this release is very, very limited. You can't even find it anymore. I mean, literally there was one seller that sold it in the last two months for 385 bucks. So that gives you an idea. As I said, we're escalating in price here. If you've noticed, we started off this video at around hundred dollars. Every single one is going up higher as to what the prices are valued at. This one goes for around 385 bucks if you can find it. So if you find it, make sure to pick this one up if you get a chance to, but it was very limited. It did come fully in English. It is region free. It has all the English audio with DTS HD master audio 5.1, a brand new mix on it. And this was the only time it was ever released uncut anywhere in the world with a brand new 4K restoration and remaster on it. And it's got tons of special features on it and things like that. So this one is one of those that's a prized item in my collection. Really, really rare 4K Ultra HD. Let me know if you have it or if you even knew this was out. This one is really, really cool. Next up, we have my Miami Vice set. Now I'm gonna set it on my shoulder here while I talk so I can show this off. This set is heavy and the box is super thick. This is one of those special things in my collection. And let me know if you want to see a review on this as well. Here's why. This one goes for about 400 to 450 bucks regularly now. It was a very limited edition French release by Elephant Films. Now they do have this set with the discs that are in it. It doesn't come in this big box, this thick box set with the big 200 page hardcover book set in it. But they do have the set with just the basically complete series of Miami Vice in just the Blu-ray discs on their own. So I can do a review on this later on if it's something you're all interested in. You'll all just have to let me know. But this set itself is out of print and they don't release anymore. Uh, this one, I have two different versions of this. I have this and the discs, but this one I less sealed. This has the big book in it. It's a huge color book about every episode with pictures and really cool set. Has the entire series in it completely remastered and restored on 25 Blu-ray discs. Now let me tell you, this set from Elephant Films here blows away this set from Mill Creek. Sorry to say it, but the Mill Creek Miami Vice Blu-ray release is very poor in comparison to this. The colors, the clarity in the image, um, even the way they remastered 25 discs versus 20 Blu-ray discs, the special features in this set are enormous compared to what you get in this. 
So overall, this Miami Vice set is the ultimate Miami Vice release in the world that I've ever found. Um, even the German release that was very limited and sold out for just a little bit of time didn't look better in my opinion than this release. So that is why this one from Elephant Films, I'll list it below. I'll also put the one that is just the discs, obviously, without the big book in it. And this set from Elephant Films, I'll tell you right off the bat because a lot of you are going to ask, I know it. This set is region free. So the Elephant Film set is region free where the Miami Vice set, 20 Blu-ray discs. And in comparison to this Elephant Films Blu-ray set, this Elephant Films Blu-ray set does look quite a bit better. Overall with a much better release of Miami Vice than the Mill Creek release ever was. So if you're a huge Miami Vice fan, let me know if you want me to do a review on this. Otherwise, I will link it below. If you do want to pick this up, make sure to go through that link below. This set and this release is absolutely amazing. And the only difference between this and the link that doesn't have the big book in it that costs, I think the one without the big book that's just the basically discs in the box sets, that one runs for I think about 100 bucks to about 170. This one runs for about 400 to 450. That's because this is out of print. And I absolutely love Miami Vice, one of my favorite shows. And this set is the ultimate way to own it. Next up, we're going into 13th Warrior. This is one of those Michael Crichton films that basically John McTiernan directed, loved the film. Antonio Banderas is in it. It's like a kind of thriller, kind of night, kind of like, I don't even know. It's a mishmash of numerous things. There's a little bit of horror in it, um, but it's about a knight that goes and fights and it's just a great movie in my opinion. I love it, but it's never been released on Blu-ray except in two countries, Germany and France. France released this from Metropolitan for a very, very short time. This is the limited edition collector set that they released brand new HD 1080p remaster and restoration of the film. It looks great, um, though there is a big difference in color between this and the German one. I personally like this one the best, though there's a little bit of a story behind this. This one now sells for $750 was the last time one of these went for sale can't find them really anywhere. I have tried to find it. There is a non-limited edition set that's just the disc itself without all the books and postcards that are in here. In that set, even that one goes for about 350 to 400 now. The German one had burned in subtitles. You couldn't get rid of them. Couldn't even move them off the screen. I was really disappointed and that's why that one basically got rid of and didn't keep after I was able to get this. This one has no burned in subtitles. So this release was the only one, no burned in subtitles, full English remastered audio. It has full DTS HD master audio 5.1. It's a full 1080p remaster and it looks great. This film on DVD doesn't even hold a candle to this release. And in the limited edition set, just to show you here, it did come with a black special Blu-ray case. And then it had a big book in it that goes through all of the movie with photos and talking about it, which I really like books that come with these things. And then inside the case, it had all of your photos. So it has a huge stack of photos. Mine has a little bit of damage on the photo that happens because this part of the case kind of nicks into it, but it has high gloss photos in there that are in a slip sleeve with the movie completely remastered. And I really did love this collection, though I will tell you I missed out on it originally. So my story of how I got this is, I actually went to Goodwill. And if any of you don't shop at Goodwill for movies, you're missing out on a little hidden tidbit there. And I'll share this with you. And I had never seen this for sale. I'd never seen it anywhere. It's been on my wish list for like four years. I've always seen it for sale for like 700 bucks, 750. Um, never seen it go for less than that because it's been out of print for forever. Goodwill had gotten this in for $2.85. So we're selling it for three bucks basically. Picked it up for three bucks. So this is a rare example of sometimes you need to check your Goodwill. If you have not started doing that yet, you do need to check your local Goodwills. This is one of my most excited finds in the last several months I picked this up. Literally, I think I got this about two months ago. And the last one that sold online, it was on eBay, went for 750 bucks is how much the person bought it for. So that showed you how rare this was, but I was so thrilled, you guys have no idea. Not that I was screaming, but I was like telling my wife, I got I mean not really screaming but you know what I mean I was so excited she was like I haven't seen you this excited in a long time I'm like I can't believe it I have wanted this movie for so long and I was so excited and this is one of my favorite movies and it does look great on blu-ray I just wish it was released again for everyone else heck I'd buy it again just because I love the movie so much but it's not available anywhere else worldwide and the only one that is is that German release it's got burned in subtitles the audio is horrible on it and I didn't really like the colors on it because the colors are really weird on the German one um, and they're drastically different than the release they did in France. But this movie was huge in France, so it sold a ton in the limited edition. But I'll put both links below. 
Let me know if you knew about this release or if you picked this up before, but man, ugh, such a good movie. All right, we're getting higher and higher in price value here. This is one of my most expensive TV series that I own. This one is 24, the complete remastered 1080p Blu-ray series on Blu-ray. And I love 24. My family and I grew up watching this. I loved the series. My dad and I love the series. We talk about it all the time. This is the complete series, fully remastered and released in 1080p Blu-ray. Now, this series, which I will show you, has some really cool Blu-ray cases, black Blu-ray cases. It was released in Japan originally. Now, with exchange rate and the cost and everything for this series, it runs 785 US dollars for this series on Blu-ray. And there was in the US, basically the last three seasons were released on Blu-ray, but the first seven were never released on Blu-ray. This is the seven with technically what I call the seventh season, which is the movie Redemption, was never released on Blu-ray in US or anywhere else in the world. Japan was the only one to get this. I've always considered doing a review of this on the channel and I'll link down below each season individually, but they go for about 70 to about $105 to about 110 each season. And that's simply because the exchange rate and how expensive this show was, that's the only place you can get it. And it's an official 20th Century Fox release. The 20th Century Fox released this completely remastered on Blu-ray and it looks great compared to the DVDs man it's a revelation there's some things on this and i will tell you a little bit of a shocking thing not to shock anybody here but there's actual full nudity in the first season of 24 and i've only watched season one so far haven't gone through the rest of them because i've been savoring it when i originally got this and bought it from amazon and things i think i originally paid about 385 for this entire set uh, since then it's only escalated in price for all these combined together is about 785 bucks So if you can get it for a deal through those links below Amazon's the only one that has it because it's an exclusive Amazon release I'll put those links below so if you want to pick up some of these you can but if you're wanting to see a review on this Unboxing for me to go through this show you images things like that Make sure to comment below and let me know about that as well But back to what I was saying about season one I will warn you I never realized that season one had nudity I had it on DVD and watched it and you really couldn't see anything because of how bad the DVDs were and how it was displayed on TV originally, there really wasn't any nudity on it or anything that I could see. Well now because it's in full HD, there was actually some full frontal nudity that wasn't even edited out, which really surprised me when my wife and I were watching it because we didn't expect that. But, so be forewarned about that there was some nudity that I didn't realize was in it. But the series itself, all the rest of it though, I absolutely love. 24 is one of those great action adventure terrorist thriller shows that really, really built as it went on. And I really feel like the first seven seasons through Redemption was the best. And they've only ever been released in this set officially by 20th Century Fox. And it's not a bootleg. This is an official 20th Century Fox remastered release. They just only released it in Japan. One of these gems in my collection. I absolutely love this set. Next up, we got my Columbia Classics Collection Volume 1 4K Ultra HD set. I just recently talked about this on the YouTube channel. So I consider not bringing this one out. But I thought for those of you that haven't seen my post in the community section or don't follow me on either my Instagram or my Facebook, I thought I'd talk about this because this is worth $1,000. That's what it's selling for on Amazon and eBay. Thousand bucks is all you can find this for. Once, a little while ago, somebody had it listed for about $685 and it sold right away. The average going price is around $1,000 to $1,100 bucks. I did not pay that. And just to let you know, I'll tell you a little story. I just recently picked this up a few weeks ago, brand new from Amazon. And here's the story. Basically, as I told you, I go through and I constantly check links for deals of things that I've had in my wish list that I missed out on. I missed out on this originally and I regretted not buying it. I thought Columbia Classics and Sony were going to release each of these titles individually soon afterwards. They didn't. And it's been basically almost two years since this was originally released and they have not released a single one of these in the US other than Dr. Strangelove. And the rest of these have sat basically unreleased. Some other random countries like Germany got Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, but that's about it. There hasn't been a ton of other releases from the set at all. So I was really disappointed I missed out. So I've always watched it and watched it well. Basically Amazon and Best Buy got a few copies in a couple of weeks ago and I posted about them right away. Amazon got them in, I bought one. I wanted to buy more, but I didn't want to be greedy. 
And I'm one of those collectors that tries not to be greedy. I don't like to go online and see people selling things for thousands and thousands of dollars that they specifically bought just to sell. I'm one of those that I buy one for myself to collect and I try not to buy dozens of others that I'm gonna go sell because to me, then I'm taking it away from somebody that could save some money. That's another collector like myself. So just to let you know, I'm not one of those types of people that buys things just to sell it for a high price. So that way, basically somebody else can't get a deal on it. So what I did is I only bought one, but I did share it right away after I got mine. And the exciting thing is, it, but I did get messages from about 10 or so of you that said you were able to pick it up through that link I shared as well. So that's something that if you aren't subscribed to the channel, you wanna make sure you're subscribed that you check the community section on this YouTube channel quite regularly, and you either follow me on Instagram or Facebook, one of those. Because I post things like this, when this came available, I post it right away. And like I said, there was about 10 or so of you that messaged me right away that were able to get your set through this. And here's the crazy thing. This goes for $1,000 right now. It has been for our last eight to nine months selling for a thousand bucks. I picked mine up for 90 bucks. That's a steal of a deal. Couldn't believe it. Brand new, came from Amazon, shipped brand new, sealed everything, digital code knew it was good, everything. That is why I try to share about how to collect some of these rare things. And that's why I wanted to include this in here to talk about it for a minute. That's why I always share with all of you, if I come across one of these amazing deals that I think all of you can get, I share that, but it's very limited. Like in this case, it was gone again in a few minutes. It came back available a couple hours later, then went out of stock, and then there was a few more. Um, so a couple of you got it then later on as well. So that's why make sure to check the channel regularly. Watch my videos, check the YouTube community section on my channel, and then also follow me on like Instagram or Facebook. Because once I post those, a lot of the times, there's only a few copies that I find of some of these available. And so I'm glad that a lot of you did get to secure this, but that is one of my favorite things added in my collection. Last thing here is the Alamo. This is a full three disc Blu-ray set that was exclusively released for a very limited time. I'm talking one day. This was sold for one day, completely sold out and has never been released again. This was released by MGM and Koch Media. And this is a full Alamo restoration and remaster for the first time anywhere worldwide. This is the original John Wayne classic movie that he sunk all of his money and time in to make. It is the most epic and in my opinion, one of John Wayne's best movies he's ever done. This movie is absolutely outstanding. This movie has for the first time ever restored and released the John Wayne director's cut. He not only starred in this film, helped write it, he actually put all his own money into producing this film. And it took him years to secure and finish this film. The director's cut has never been remastered, restored, or released correctly. This is the only release that has it. It's 202 epic minutes long on the director's cut on Blu-ray in this set. This set is one of my most excited classic movie finds of all time. This set was released very limited. It comes with a J card, has a J card on here, talks about the Alamo and the restoration. On the back, it has one of the original poster prints with the Alamo, John Wayne, talking about all of the characters in the Alamo. It's in a book, and when you get inside here, it has three discs. It has your Blu-rays, and then it has a DVD copy of it as well, and it has all the special features. And on the inside here, it has a book that goes through the restoration process, talking about John Wayne, showing pictures and everything in this book. It really is an amazing release with this nice foil art on it. If you can see that, that red, shiny metal foil art, really, really an outstanding release. And here's what's crazy is, this goes for $1,100 right now. I've seen it go for about 1200 bucks recently, but about 1,100 when this comes available and somebody posts it on like Amazon or eBay. I did not know when I originally bought this that it was that rare. I actually pre-ordered it and was gonna do a review on the channel of this. And I pre-ordered it a couple of months ago when it was first announced. And it basically came out, I got my shipment, and then I went back on there as always to go and see, hey, I'm gonna do a review on this. So I wanted to talk to you about it on the channel. I wanted to make sure it's available for all of you to buy and realized it's not only not available, but the price was over a thousand bucks. And it's amazing. Um, it is region B locked. Um, that was the only downside of it is you do have to have a region free player if you live outside of the region B territory, but it was well worth it. John Wayne's amazing in it and the director's cut is the best version of the Alamo. If you haven't seen the director's cut of it, it's absolutely outstanding. And what they did on this is, because MGM had damaged the film so badly, because basically John Wayne held onto those films himself, 
because it was financed by him and MGM basically backed out and a bunch of the other financiers backed out at the last minute and he had to finance it all to get it out there himself though MGM does retain credit on it because they did help finance some of it theatrically in some countries but it was primarily financed by John Wayne and all the special features in this are in English there's no burned in subtitles. It's all in English audio. And it has a brand new DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 English mix on it. And it's outstanding. And sounds great, looks amazing. And what they did to bring us that director's cut, which I'll touch on just briefly here. The director's cut's never been available for a remaster because the elements that basically John Wayne had from the director's cut had been so severely damaged and lost that they had no way to make it. Well, what they did with this, MGM provided what they had of the reels to be scanned and all of that. Well, they took those reels, and it's a really cool special feature in this that I loved. They took those reels and they took the only elements of the director's cut that existed on Laserdisc, not DVD, Laserdisc. They had somebody who had the original Laserdisc releases in mint condition of the director's cut. They took those and scanned those and basically used a bunch of different technology now, upscaling and keeping the film grain and doing what they could with that Laserdisc SD content to make it as HD as possible, incorporating it with the brand new scan and re remaster and restoration of the Blu-ray scan from the regular edition of what MGM had given them of the reels and what they were able to obtain from John Wayne's children that they had and all of that. Combined it all together into this epic release. And I'm telling you, when you watch the director's cut, hands down, it's amazing because even on the scenes where you can tell that it kind of goes to that SD footage, it's not horrible. I mean, yeah, it doesn't look as good as obviously the full scan and HD remaster they did from the film reels they had, but it adds in such an element to the movie and so much more story that added to these characters and the true story that went on. John Wayne really provided an epic story of the Alamo that really, I mean, it is a tragic story of what happens to those men and women and what they stood for, but just an epic, gorgeous story that, man, I am so glad I own this. I mean, it's one of my favorite films and I love everything about Texas history and things like that. And this film is great. I love owning it. If you guys want to know a review about this or want to know more about this release, you can always let me know. And then maybe I'll do a review and kind of go through kind of the image quality and kind of tell you about that later on. But overall, John Wayne, Richard Widmark, Lawrence Harvey, Richard Boone, epic cast in this film. And this restoration remaster, considering that they combined SD elements from the Laserdisc to make this actually exist, because there was no way to make this exist before, is absolutely outstanding. And I wish there was more available. I'll post that link below. But to be honest with you, I have not seen anybody selling this in months. Everybody's holding onto their copy because they've never printed it again. It's just been gone. Let me know what of these you've got, what of these you've heard about, what of these you're excited to hopefully add to your list to look for in the future. And let me know in the comment section below if there are some that you have that are really rare releases and really rare editions. I always love to hear from all of you and I thought this would kind of be an exciting, fun and entertaining video to do just to kind of get you guys some information out about my collection, some hidden things. Some things that you always ask about, hey, what kind of lists you've got of things that we don't know about. So I'm trying to provide you more of these in between doing reviews, getting you more hidden things from my collection. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up for me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification right next to it. And if you're gonna try to pick up any of these or add these to your wish list, make sure to click through the description section links right below this video. I had a great time today. I hope all of you have a blessed day and I look forward to the time we get to do this again real soon.